Hey guys, this is Garfors95 here, reviewing a pretty popular item. If you don't know, this is the Brita filter picture. They are quite popular among particularly college students because it's a good way of storing water, say in your fridge, or having some nice filtered water whenever you need it. This particular model is a 6 cup capacity, it's called the Amalfi picture because they had previously released a different version of this 6 cup capacity picture, but they had problems with the lid not properly fitting on so there was spillage issues. But anyways, this is a revised version of that 6 cup capacity and I have to say I do really love this picture. Brita makes a wide range of different capacities, they have 5 cup pitchers, they even have 10 cup pitchers, just depends on how much you want to have stored at a given time. But I really think the 6 cup capacity is the sweet spot, and the main reason why I like this one over say the slightly cheaper 5 cup capacity one is because of this extra lid coverage over the spout. It just flips open when you actually need to pour water, but otherwise it stays closed, and that way it prevents from all the weird smells that you can have say in your fridge from getting into your water. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how a Brita filter pitcher works, we basically just input say tap water through the top part in this little cove here and then it will sift through a filter and then the water will drain out through the bottom to fill the rest of the pitcher, that's why there's this big white portion at the top. And then obviously when you need to pour out the water, you just pour it out through the spout here on the side. While the spout is perfectly adequate to pouring into a larger opening like a cup, it is a little bit more difficult to pour into a smaller opening like a swell bottle without spilling over so you just need to make sure that you pour at a higher distance for narrower openings. Every bit of pitcher comes with a complementary filter right out of the box so you just need to be able to prepare it before you actually put it in the pitcher and you do so by following the very clear instruction that is first rinsing it under cold water for about 15 to 30 seconds that's just so that it can cycle through the filtration system and then you can go ahead and properly insert it into the grooves inside the top portion of the pitcher and then for the first few rounds of filtration, you might see little black flecks of the carbon filaments and that's totally normal. If you're not comfortable drinking that, you can just dump it out, but it's actually pretty harmless. But the next few filtration should be totally fine. And the filtration process is actually quite quick. You definitely don't want to try to pour water into a cup while it's still filtering water because it is going to be top heavy. You don't want to risk the lid completely falling off. But again, you only need to wait a few seconds for it to completely filtrate the water that you input it. The standard white filter that it comes with is advertised to be able to filtrate about 40 gallons of water, which is about 2 months of use, according to Brita anyway. So that's the approximate timeline that you want to keep in mind, though this particular picture does come with a little indicator as a reminder of when you should replace your filter. So using it, you just need to hold down the status button until it blinks and then you just hold it down for two seconds for the standard filter, hold it down for six seconds for the longer lasting blue filter. So you do this every time you replace the filter, that way it will reset the clock and then if you want to check the status of it at any time, you just press it for a short period of time and if it's green, that means you're still good. If it's red, you need to replace it. But I did tell you the timeline of when you should approximately replace it because I found that the status indicator isn't always very accurate. I did own a previous Brita filter where it just didn't really tell me ever to replace the filter. So if you find out that you have a faulty uh, status indicator, I would just put some kind of reminder on your phone to periodically remind you to buy new filters. And each one of these standard filters costs around 4 to $6 a pop. So it's not too high of a price to pay for filtered water. And if you do own various different bit of filtration systems, other pitchers, or maybe their dispensers, they do take the same standard filter, so you don't need to worry about buying different size filters. And then if you wanted to clean all aspects of this pitcher, it's not too difficult to disassemble it either. So I really think that this is the perfect size bit of pitcher to get if it's well in your refrigerator even in the refrigerator door and I also really love that it covers the spout I think that's really critical in preventing other smells from getting into your water so I can definitely recommend this I only have a little bit of gripe with the status indicator I think Britta needs to get a better hand on that but other than that this is a fantastic filtration picture to pick up 
Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a like. It'd be greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, Skyfirst95, if you haven't already, to get more content like this. Or if you're watching this on Amazon, head over to my channel URL right here, or just search it up on YouTube, Skyfirst95. There you'll see a bunch of my product reviews and unboxings. Feel free to browse, or if you want to search for something specific, just hit that search field. That'll do it for this video. This is Skyfirst95. Thanks for watching.